What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers, this is episode number 22 and this ship looks much bigger when you're actually under it and looking up. Jesus. I thought it was way smaller than this, but no, this looks huge. Wow. It actually looks kind of cool looking from up here. Well, one of the things we're doing, our main goal for today is, we have the hangar up there, right? We have the hangar, it's nice and cool and stuff, but we don't currently have any way of getting to the hangar if you're inside the ship. Sure, if you're outside the ship, you can fly up and go and, and uh, turn on one of these things. Let's, uh, let's hit this button, see what happens. Ooh, yeah, you can definitely go outside and hit this thing if you wanted to, but that's a lot of work. So what we wanna do is, ugh. oh, nope, couldn't get in there. I'm not Indiana Jones, can't do it. Let's close that, there we go. Uh, what we wanna do is we wanna add some sort of like way to get up here, and I think I know how we're gonna do that, but I'm gonna leave that for a second because there's something else I wanna do as well. So last episode I mentioned that the, ooh, man, this this map keeps getting be more beautiful and more beautiful every time I look outside. Look at that. Ooh. Put this away. Yes, there we go. Oh, the shadows, that's weird. <laughs> that's a weird glitch. Do you see that on the bottom over there? Oh, the shadows are doing that. Anyways, uh, last episode I did mention that the um, the welder ship crashed. And yeah, I was very sad about it. So what I went and did is I went and made a little memorial at the spot that it crashed. So it crashed right here. This was the location. So I made a little, that's actually the dent right there. This is the dent that it hit, that it made when it crashed is right there. Uh, so I. <laughs> I've made a little memorial for it. I would like to continue the memorial, uh, but I need to move the ship. So let's go ahead and do that. Is this... No, I don't think I can get in there. Uh, let's go around. Because I know we have a little entrance here, like a temporary entrance. By the way, I was messing around with the ship a little bit, and I realized... I think the reason that we thought we needed more batteries was simply because most of our batteries weren't charged. But at this point, they're, they're all charged. Even though it won't last for a while, they'll last for at least a little bit. So we're just going to move our ship to the left just a little bit so we can... Uh, have some clearance there. So let's press P. Ship fuel. Go up a little bit. You see we have four minutes of flight, which is way better than a few seconds. We need way more engines on the side. These are working at max capacity, so we're going to need to do something about that. But let's just give the memorial a little bit of clearance here. Let our ship stop, which might take a second. There we go. And let's go down just a little bit. Let's, let's lock our gears on this thing so our engines won't be firing at all times. 600%. Oops. I'm so bad at doing this. I want all the gears to be on the ground at the same time, so that, that's what I'm going for. All right, so now we should have enough clearance to build our thing, our uh, memorial. So let's hop over there. Hop on over to see what we can do. So this is the location. And I want to build like a little cross right here. I don't know why, it just seems natural. So a little, just a little thing like this. I think would be pretty good. It's a, it's a nice symbol. Commemorate Mr. Um, Mr. Welder, as we're going to call it. So there's the memorial of Mr. Welder. It didn't have a color, so I think this will remain un uncolored. None of our ships really have a color except for this one. If this one dies, it's going to have to have a huge memorial, by the way. Uh, let's just hope the memorial's not on the moon. <laughs> so, hope yeah, hopefully our mission is successful. But yeah, there is our nice little uh, commemoration of Mr. Welder. May it forever remain in our hearts, I guess. Cue the, the song by the Titanic one thing. Right, so let's immediately get into what we want to do for today. Our main mission, our goal, our uh, our mission should we choose to accept it. It's going to be to make a stairwell somehow leading from this area to up there. And I think I've devised the best way to do it. And I think that's going to be actually using this, what we already have right here. And then just going straight and up just a little bit. So this would go straight into the hangar. I think that's a good idea. Um, the idea came to my head when uh, when someone was telling me that I should close this all off, so I was thinking, you know what, maybe maybe instead of doing that, we can actually just go forward and go up into the hangar. So let's try it. Let's uh, take out our tools here. Uh, let's go to a standard block piece, and we're just going to go straight from here. Is that the center? I think the center is three blocks, so let's just go straight. It'd be like a, a bridge, kind of. And you can definitely still walk around here. That's two, two blocks clearance, which is easily enough for you to walk around. So let's just go up right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up like this, and this is gonna look a little weird at first. Oops, that's the wrong block. Uh, this one right here, we're gonna go up like this, and then we're gonna mirror that same thing up here. Like that, up like that. There we go. And we might actually eventually convert this into a stairs, but we're lagging there. Yeah, there we go. But uh, let's, let's break out these, nope, not that one, whatever. <laughs> let's break out this block and see if we've made it to the promised land. I think we're good. I think we're in the promised land here. So now all we would need to do is something like uh, this. Yeah, that's that's fine. 
uh, because this is a conveyor piece. So we just walk right over it and then we're in. So boom, bada bing, bada boom. We've now got a connection. Oh, okay, I forgot that that was a hole. Uh, put that right there, yes. We now have a connection into this place. Once we finish welding all this stuff, it'll look good. And we'll, I don't know what we'll do about these sides. We might actually close this off uh, like, uh, what's his name? What's his name? The person that suggested it. Adrian, Adrian Mikak. I, I'm so sorry if that's the last name. You said you're Croatian, Croatian. sorry. Uh, so I'm, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, but he's the one who suggested putting like kind of walls here. And I think it's not a bad idea to wall this area off. Um, if we do that, I think, here, let's try it. Let's try it out. Let's see what it looks like. So a wall right there, and then we'll, we'll add one to that. And then we'll do the same thing kind of over here, walling this. Okay, that's pretty good. I put one right here, just just for consistency's sake. Then what would we do? We put like a wall right here, I guess. Is that big enough for the? Yeah, I think that's fine. So put a wall right there, maybe. And then all the way up, I suppose. Kind of like that. And then this would also do the same thing. It would just go all the way up. I don't know. How's that look? And then you've got this kind of. This is kind of like a path, except we could kind of make this into a door as well. So just put like a door right there. Uh, leading up to there so what it would and then we'd like wall this off as well or something so what it would be and then this right here yeah i think this right here would be some sort of like a uh, big airtight door so that once you enter here you're actually entering another airtight area so that if this opens the whole ship's not going to become um depressurized only this hangar will so i think that's a good idea i, I think i like how this is kind of headed um and we might actually make this all like a, a single lane corridor i don't know maybe but for now, I think it looks pretty good. Let's, uh, uh, we'll weld off camera. I was going to weld on camera, but I think we're going to weld this off camera just because it's a lot of, uh, of steel to do. Weld a couple of things on camera. Why not? So what do we need to do? I think we need to create another, another welder ship. I think that's one of the most important things we need to do. So even though Mr. Welder ship, <laughs> I was trying to look through the ship. Mr. Welder, uh, died last episode. Um, I think we need to make another one because it, it was very important. It was very easy to kind of cargo materials to where we wanted to use them and that sort of thing. So let's let's go and mess with another Mr. Welder ship. We'll get one set up and uh, and we'll be all good to go. Unfortunately, we don't have a blueprint of the welder ship. We didn't think to make one, so we'll be making this one from scratch. That's okay though, because I think it would be pretty cool if you guys saw how these things are made, how how they're how like I make them and that sort of thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a what are we looking for? A conveyor piece, not number seven, but we want like a big one. So a big conveyor, we're gonna throw it right about here. And remember, this is not my design. I forget the YouTuber who I took it from. Oh, someone found it in the comments before and, and told me who it was, but I forgot. Uh, but I did take it from another YouTuber. So if you if you search on Google for um, atmospheric weldership, you will find it, so no worries there. Uh, but we're gonna do that and then we're going to add, I think we're gonna add a small one of these, a medium container rather. That's gonna be where you're gonna store all the materials. And finally, we're gonna go for a nice little connector. This will allow us to connect to the base. Okay, next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go for a uh, kind of a turning piece, a curved conveyor tube like that. We're going to do the same thing on the other side facing forward. And this is where we're going to put the welders when we want to actually stick those on. So we're going to go like that. Yep. Okay, next thing we need to grab the welders. So number five here. We're going to turn this around because I kind of like it when it's sideways like that. It looks better. Okay, put that one right there. Awesome. It's looking pretty good so far. Last things we need are, well, we're going to need the thrusters, but we don't need that many thrusters because it's going to be a really lightweight ship. Remember how the, the initial one was. This is pretty much an exact copy of the initial uh, welder we have. So if you've seen that one, you've seen this one. <laughs> but we're going to go like this. I think this is where we're going to put the, well, let's put them like, like right here. Batter yeah, we'll put the batteries right there. Batteries are going to power the ship naturally. So there we go. Uh, do we want to actually, we could move it a little bit. Like move the battery down one, but no, I think it's gonna be fine. Uh, last thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna add, want to add some of these, some thrusters. So we're gonna want a lot of down thrusters. I'm gonna put one, two right here, and then we'll do the two on the other side in the same spots. One, two right there. Awesome. We're gonna want some forward thrusters. So let's go forward like this. Uh, we can actually do one on each side. I think that'll be fine. Uh, and then we're gonna want some back thrusters just to keep us afloat if we're pointing forward. So same thing. We're going to point those around this way. We're going to stick those on top. I think it's probably the best spot. Uh, finally, we're going to want some left and right thrusters. I think we're going to do... Oh, this might be a little harder than I thought. We could do... Can we put them on here? Yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah, we're going to put one right there. We're going to put one right here. I think that'll be fine. Uh, we have room to the side if we want to add more, just in case. Uh, now, the thrust... The, the, the design is not exactly like the person I, I took it from. 
it's kind of modified a little bit. But uh, we're going to want definitely one of these, gyroscope. Gyroscope's incredibly important. We're going to stick it right in the middle there. Uh, finally, I think that's everything that we need. Uh, we're going to want some lights. So let's... Are these light? Yeah, these are spotlights. So I guess we'll stick these maybe on the front right here. That would look good. And then we're going to stick some on the bottom, I think, as well. Just so that if if uh, if we want to look down, we can actually see stuff. Is there anywhere I could easily... Oh, yeah, right here. Okay. Stick one right there, pointing down. I think that's pointing down. No, that's pointing the wrong way. Okay. Break this one. Six. Spotlight. There we go. That's pointing down now. We'll do the same thing on the other side, just so that you can see under you if you need to. Uh, finally, we got to weld all this stuff together, and that should be our welder ship back. So let me weld this and I'll be right back. All right, I'm in our miner right now. I built, as you can kind of see, a very, very small little thing at the kind of the bottom of the screen. That's actually the ship that we built, the, the little welder. Uh, I'm having an issue where I can't zoom in any farther than this in third person. I don't know why it is. It won't let me zoom in. That's that's the most I can do. I'm holding alt and it won't let me do it. So if any of you guys know the, the, the solution to this issue, please tell me. And until then, I think we're going to be stuck with crappy zooms. So we're going to have to go into first person here to fly this thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our ship is on. We're going to press P, go forward, and we're basically just going to land ourselves a little bit forward here. Let's go into third person. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, it's working now. Um, mm, okay, I've got no clue why, but that was weird. Oh, wait, maybe it thought we were part of the... Did it think we were... It might have part, thought we were part of the station at that time since we were connected. That was that was weird. I don't know. Okay, yep. Now it's now it's doing it again. Uh, as soon as we connect to the station, it seems to do that. So that's really weird. But, um, yeah. Okay, now we're going to play the age-old game of Does She Fly? This is our ship right here. We've built it all out, and it's got a standard cockpit and everything. It's currently connected to the station via that thing right there. Uh, we are about to knock off the supports and see if she flies and, and for added uh, Suspense I'm gonna sit under it and if it doesn't fly. I'm going to get crushed Hey It, it does fly. I wasn't holding it on my head. That would have been pretty awesome. Okay, so I guess we can go into third person here Yeah, okay, so we can go in third person with this one Which is pretty much an exact replica of the other ship um, <laughs> but uh, we can go into third person with this one, but we cannot um once we connect to the base, it's going to mess it all up. Okay. So let's connect. Let's connect to the base. Via this. Because we need to tra we need to power our ship. It needs to be it needs to have more power than just a standard. Remember, that's the whole reason that we got into this issue in the first place. That's why the original ship uh, died. Yep, see? Look at that. Immediately. And you see nighttime closing in right there. The shadow. Okay, we're going to wait for this thing to charge a little bit. Uh, and, and I'll be, uh, I'll be right back. So another comment that I got from Adrian, the same guy who commented uh, earlier that I credited for that idea, uh, also gave me another idea for the engines. And you'll see I've actually deleted one of these. Wait, where is it? <laughs> I'm lost. Oh, I actually deleted one of these engines because I want to try it out. But the idea was that if we remove the engine, for instance, if we look at this one, if we remove the engine and place it one block down, let me get to a better viewpoint, place it one block down, and then instead of uh, moving this one block down, place like a, a junction, a conveyor junction on top of the engine in between the engine and the hydrogen tank we can also put blocks over here to make this more airtight so we don't have to do that whole uh, thing with the um, with the bulletproof glass so I think that's a really good idea let's try it out on the one that I have already taken out <laughs> so let's get our conveyor junction it's gonna be over here grab conveyor junction piece we're looking for there we go we're gonna put that right here yeah we're gonna put that right there connecting to that and then what we're going to do is we're going to take another one of those, uh, these things right here. Another hydrogen thruster. And we're going to stick it on the bottom. Let me just uh, line it up perfectly here. Yeah, we're going to stick it on the bottom. What do we need? Steel plates? Okay, we put everything that we deleted from there inside here. So let's just grab all those steel plates and uh, we'll place those. So we're going to place that right here. Like so. And it's a little bit farther down, but it's not that bad because we, we have plenty of clearance still. So what do we need? All the stuff? Okay, we'll grab all the stuff. We still have it all in here, so no worries. Uh, all of the stuff. Let me put this stuff back. Since we don't need it, uh, we'll grab all this. So yeah, I think this is going to be a, be a better idea than using the bulletproof glass, since it was going to require a lot of bulletproof glass. Like, crazy amounts. So, I think this is it's going to work out. Okay, so now that we have that, do we have any more steel plates? No, I think we had exactly enough steel plates for 
uh, what we want to do there. So let me go and grab some steel plates and then I'll be right back and, and we'll get that done. So we have steel plates, let's try this out. So we're gonna place normal blocks around here, kind of. Let's let's make sure that we leave ourselves a way to get out. We don't wanna get stuck down here. So normal block there, and we should be good. So now if we weld up these blocks. Yeah, okay, well we've, we just used all of our steel plates on that thing. But yeah, it, it looks like it'll work out perfectly. So we weld up those blocks, we're now going to have a nice little, uh, a nice little airtight area. So if we do those for all of the engines, then we don't have to even worry about this this whole bulletproof glass thing that we were trying. Even though that kind of would have looked cool, I think, it still limits our mobility, so I, I would like to be able to walk on these corners a little bit. So I, I do like the idea. Thanks, Adrian, for that. That's gonna be good. Uh, some of you guys were mentioning that we might need more of these for the whole ship. I don't think we will. If you guys all think we need more of these, then join together, form a riot, and tell me. Um, but I don't think we do, just because I think the problem with our batteries. Remember, we had a problem with our batteries earlier. I think the problem was that they just weren't charged. And at this point, they're all charged from that. So um, honestly, I think we're good. And, and this is another battery as well that we are planning on building. So I think that's going to be all good. Let me make sure that this still works. This little walkway. Yeah, I like it. So if we come in here, for instance, and we're like, we want to turn it off, we can be like, Pew. yeah, I like it. Awesome. Look how nice the world looks at night. <laughs> I love this mod, the, what's it called? Some skybox mod, it looks really good. Especially with the ship's lights kind of powering through. Okay, this thing should be charged at least a little bit. Um, so let's let's head on down. We'll do a little bit of welding while I talk about some some stuff. But let's, uh, yeah, let's definitely turn on our engines before we do anything and then let's head out. We have, what, 19 minutes of flight it seems like. And our ship is doing pretty well at flying. Uh, if I had to add anything, I'd probably add a couple more thrusters. Probably one more for each left and right, and then one, two more front and two more backwards, I think would be great. But really all we want to do right now is bring the ship kind of uh, close to where we're going to be working. Just so that we can easily grab stuff from it. So I think we'll, I think we'll, what we'll do is we'll land it on the nose again like we did last time. Because that seemed to work pretty well. Uh, Step inside what I want to do about that nose. I think we're, what we're going to do is we're going to put a, um, a thruster in that. I really think that's a good idea. Okay, so you... Yeah, you're good. Okay. Um, I, wish, I should probably turn off the thrusters. Nah, it's fine. 30 minutes of just... Well, okay. Hang on. Let's turn off the thrusters. And this will be a little lesson for any of you guys who don't know how to do this, by the way. Uh, press K. Hop in here. Go to all the thrusters. Uh, Shift-click them all so you have all the thrusters. Make them into a group called thrusters. Save that. Uh, escape. Press G. Go to groups. You have thrusters over there. Drag them to a slot. Toggle on and off just like that. We're gonna press eight. Now our thrusters are now all off. Now there's a reason I did not turn the batteries off. The reason for that is because I do wanna still access um, our cargo container here. And if I turn the batteries off, this connection between our connector and cargo container would no longer exist. So I can only access things which are in the connector, which is nothing. So, okay. So I've had a couple of you guys commenting saying that you wanted to see more welding and less of the actual cuts, which is totally fine. Uh, but I do still want to include some cuts in places where I think things are going to be incredibly boring. We need a couple. Oh, by the way, I I, I, uh, I welded all this stuff. Um, as I'm talking about making less cuts, I made a cut to weld all this stuff. It was a lot of materials and it was very boring. But uh, it, it looks so cool, doesn't it? Look at this. I think it looks cool. What we need is like seats here or something, like rolly chairs. Is that a thing? Like, can I add those? I don't know. But anyways, uh, we are going to talk about a couple of things, mainly the new Patreon. Now, I did mention uh, the new Patreon page is now active. I mentioned it in uh, the tutorial video, the Space Camp video that I released probably a couple days now. I'm not sure when I will release this particular video. But um, but yeah, not all of you guys may have seen that. So I do want to announce that it's like officially announced that it exists, the Patreon page. Uh, and there are a couple of benefits. There's only one tier, and it's like a dollar tier. Let's turn, open this, because I really like seeing how this uh, opens. But if you guys want to check that out, it's in the description and stuff. But the reason I'm mentioning that now, um, aside from just wanting to announce that it's a thing, is that um, one of the rewards on there for, for the $1 tier is that you have a chance to become part of the game. So, like, um, you guys know I'm trash at making names for stuff. For instance, this ship right here, I've got no clue what we're going to call it. So maybe, maybe that's a thing. Uh, that we'll we'll use this for as well, but um, I'm trash at becoming uh, at coming up with names So one of the rewards is that you could have your name be the name of a ship or something like that So anytime I'm trying to figure out a name for something I'm just gonna look at the list of patrons and I'm gonna pick a random number 
and whoever it lands on is going to be the name of the ship or something related to that it might not be exactly uh, that so the reason I bring this up now is because we have this new ship right here we built it this episode and guess what it needs a name it might not last forever but at least it will go down with a name everything that I've currently built over there I'm not gonna give that stuff a name uh, it's just gonna remain what it is but any ships we build from here on out will have a name and uh, they're gonna be determined by the patreon so we only have one patreon right now so I think we're going to use that patreon's name uh, because any random number between one and one is one so let's go here let's get a beacon right here we're gonna place it down and that particular patreon that our random number generator between one and one has landed on is named Missouri so we're gonna press K we're gonna go into the beacon and here we can actually change the name of it I'm gonna make this max radius because I don't want to ever lose this ship um, now I'm not sure how we should do this we could name it just the Missouri or we could do something like the USS the USS Missouri that could be a thing as well that's technically where astronauts and I think astronauts are a branch of the military aren't they a branch of the military I thought they were a branch of the Air Force or something well anyways uh, the USS Missouri I think that sounds pretty good what do you think Missouri post down in the comments and and um, tell me if you want to put it to normal Missouri but yeah, so that's how that's going to work. We're going to come up with new ship names like that. Unless I have, like, a really good name uh, for something. But usually that's not the case. So, yeah, that's just an announcement that the Patreon is a thing. You guys can feel free to check it out. No pressure to donate, by the way. All of your love and support on these videos is amazing. And that's all I need. But if you if you want to, it's there if you, uh, you want to check it out. So let's continue welding some stuff. Let me go grab some, um, some of this stuff. Now, you guys will know that I'm horrible at like doing stuff in game while talking that's even though that's kind of the primary role of a commentator on YouTube uh, but yeah I'm not I'm not very good at it um, unless I'm saying what I'm doing so this is gonna be really difficult but we're gonna weld a couple of these things and uh, at this point we're pretty much done with all of the leaks in the ship like there's no more there's no more problems with air tightness there are a couple like for instance the way we're getting in and out that's that's not airtight obviously but everywhere else is pretty much airtight at this point now I kind of want to fly this ship inside because there's some stuff we have to weld here that I don't really want to like weld by hand let me let me see if I can if I break out the front of this this might be a good idea I'll break out the front kind of like hmm that's gonna fall uh, I'll break out the front kind of like that, and then I'll see if I can fly the ship inside. I don't know if we'll be able to, but maybe we will, so let's see. Turn back on the thrusters. We have uh, 18 minutes of flight left, so that's good. Alright, let's go down in here, and let's. Uh, we're going to go into third person for this. Let's fly forward to the USS Missouri. Now if it crashes and we have to actually give it a memorial, we know what to say on the memorial. Because currently it's just, <laughs> the other one's just Mr. Wilder. Okay, we can go down a little bit. I'm pretty sure with the other welder ship, this is where I went wrong. Like, I accidentally clipped something or something like that. But I think now we're going to be fine, even though we're barely clipping into stuff right there. But we're going to bring the ship in. And that's one of the benefits of it being small, by the way, is that we can do stuff like this. So let's press G. We're going to turn on our welder. Oh, let's just turn it on like this, I think. Because if we have to click the button, it's, it's probably easier. We won't forget to turn it off and die. So let's weld this stuff. Weld. It's not going to weld all the way because we don't have everything required, but it'll weld at least a little bit. Well, see, some of the stuff is being added. Uh, obviously, no computers. Actually, let's hop out here and see if we can add the computers by hand because I know we have them because we made them. Computers. Okay. Let's hop into our ship. This is really cool. I, I feel like this would be really cool in real life as well, trying to like weld stuff while you're inside a ship with another ship. Let's try and get some of those stuff over there, because there's a lot of stuff we can we can bring over there. It definitely saves having to go back and forth, uh, like, many different trips. Okay, we got some of the steel plates in there. We still need some computers, it looks like. But for the most part, that's done. Uh, we need more construction components and large steel tubes. Let's try and get this stuff. Oh, you guys are almost done. You just need large steel tubes, then. Okay pretty good what about these ones I think these ones also only need large steel tubes okay let's get a little bit of this as well by the way would it be worth it having a like one of these with more um, more welders on it I wonder I think two is probably good for a small ship like this 
but I wonder if it would be useful to have like more. I think we're gonna do those by hand. Those are a little bit difficult to reach. Okay, that's pretty good. Oops, we're lagging a little bit there. We gotta be careful because if we hit any of our engines really hard on anything, we're gonna cause some problems. Okay, that one's already built, so we don't need to worry about that one. And then we decided we're not gonna do this as well. Okay, so that's gonna be it for the, um, for the mission inside the ship, I think. Actually, we could run alongside those stairs there and see if we can weld any of that. I'm not sure if we have the interior plates. Actually, we probably do. Let's see. Okay, we have the interior plates. We just don't have the construction components. Let's get this one right here. Are you not... Do we not have enough? Oh, yeah, we ran out of stuff. Okay. Well, I think we're going to fly out then. I think that's going to be the end of that little little mission. When do you guys think we're going to have this ship done, by the way? I'm, I've always wondered, like, when how long it's going to take to actually make this thing. Personally, I think we're nearing the end here. Let's uh, be very careful. Very, very careful. We're going to scrape a couple things, but that's okay. Scrapes are good. Bumps are not. Scrapes are A-OK, -okay, though. Okay, we're... And we're out. We are free. That was a good mission. So let's uh, fly all the way back up to base. We're going to connect this thing back up. But how long do you guys think it's going to take the ship? What do you guys think we need still? That's the question. Uh, more hydrogen thrusters. I think we're going to add a couple of hydrogen thrusters pointing, uh, like just small ones, pointing forward, left and right. So just in case every other thing fails and we really need like an emergency stop, that's what the hydrogen thrusters will be useful for. Uh, and then obviously we want to add some ion thrusters. In fact, let's do that this episode. Let's see if we can add some more ion thrusters. Or some, at the least. Because we currently don't have any. Oops. Okay, I think that's good. Let's connect right there. And we've still got that glitch where we can't zoom in or out uh, when we're connected to this thing, but that's fine. Let's press 9 to turn off the batteries. Okay, that's looking good. Let's get some ion thrusters hooked up. What do you need for ion thrusters, I wonder? Uh, we'll go into here. Press G. We're going to grab some ion. And ion thrusters are just like normal thrusters. The only real difference is that they only work in uh, space. But we're going to add big ones on the back. And we're going to add small ones on the front. I think big ones are big ones on the front as well. Because they're smaller. Which is good. And they only take power. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to add them like that. Or maybe even right here. Where can we put them? Can we put them on the bottom? No, I think the top is definitely going to be where we're going to want to put them. Okay, let's break this right here. We'll break an area about three. And this is where we're going to put our ion thrusters. So it's good that we actually have platinum because these do require it. One, two, three. That should be the space big enough. We'll do the same thing right here. And let's back up and place some ion thrusters. So put one right here. There we go. There's one ion thruster. There's another one. So this is going to be our forward speed. I think that's probably going to be good for forward. Uh, just because you don't really need that much forward speed unless you really need to get out of somewhere fast. But uh, that uh, will be fine. Plus we have the hydrogen thing in case of any emergency. So I think that's going to be good for forward. For side, I don't know where we're going to stick these. Let's put them away for a second. Uh, so we can look around. We could stick them kind of up here, pointed to the side or something. Or like right here. Um, I kind of want to stick one right here. As a, like a forward stopper or something. Let's try it. Let's, let's break into a little bit of this. And then we'll place it right about there. If we can, at least. We might not be able to, but we'll see. Press number three. Okay. And it's not wanting to place. There we go. Uh, awesome. Should we put it back a little bit? Or is that, like, is that too much for... No, I think that's fine, honestly. I think that's okay, yeah. So it, it'll be like a stopper. Like, and that's really the main thing that I think we're going to need in space is going to be stopping power. Because I'm probably going to get impatient trying to fly to the moon and go too fast. So having one thruster pointing forward to stop us... Uh, is very good. It's a very good thing to have. Uh, okay, so that's that's going to be that. Let's fix this up real quick. 
We're going to repaint the entire ship. Don't worry about colors quite yet. Uh, we're going to need sides still. I just don't know how we're going to do that quite yet. But uh, And then, of course, we're going to need top and bottom. So can we? do we have any space that we can stick thrusters? Honestly, right here would be pretty good. We're going to need a bunch of them, remember, because this it's um, the ship's still going to have to float on the moon. So let's go to our thrusters. Let's see if we can place them right here. I don't know if we'll have enough space. But we'll see. We might. Are we out of steel plates or something? Why don't you want to place? Oh, you're probably you're probably clipping into the ground if I had to guess. Oh, you work. Okay. There we go. Put two right there, pointing to the ground. <laughs> that kind of looks ridiculous, but uh, yeah. And let's see if we can do the same thing on the other side. I don't think we'll be able. We might not be able to quite yet, but if we could lift up the ship, then we could. We add some to the front as well. There's one right there, and we'll put one right here as well. There we go. Just two thrusters right there. Gosh, we're going to have a lot of thrusters. Well, th if you think about it, the moon's gravity is less, but... Wait, do the ion thrusters work on Mars? That's actually a really good question. If they do, that's that's really good, because... We need six of these thrusters, six atmospheric thrusters to hold up the ship. So we might need six ion thrusters. So one, two, three, four, and on the other side would be five, six, uh, which would make enough for us. Okay, that's fine. That, that works pretty well. We're going to need a couple of them pointed up, so I think if we stick a couple like this. So one, two, three there, and we'll stick another... Well, we can't stick those there, because there's the, the thing. But if we stick three right there, maybe two right there, and we'll do the same thing on the other side sticking about two right here one two that's a pretty good upward force there and then we could find another place for some as well like maybe in the back stick two more like right there so now we have six thrusters six small thrusters uh pointed up for left and right where could we stick them we could stick them right next to these ones right here i think so if we if we remove this piece right here then we'll have enough room And that should actually, it should still be airtight when we place these as well. So that's no problem. Stick these right here. One, two, three. So we have our ion thrusters and our atmospheric ones providing about the same output. And then we'll do the same thing on this side just to make things symmetrical. Um, now a couple of you guys have still been mentioning that we should be using the symmetry mode. Remember the symmetry mode is not available unless you're on creative mode, which we are not. Uh, but it would be super helpful, so it's definitely still a good suggestion. It, it, it just We just can't do it, unfortunately. Okay, so that that is fine. We have one forward thruster like that. Um, let's see, what else do we want? We might stick some thrusters in there. Actually, honestly, what we might do is we might stick hydrogen thrusters in here. Our emergency stopping thrusters is what we would call them. I think that's going to be good. We've got our forward. We've got our backward. Well, just one. Uh, we've got our left and right. We've got some pointing up. We, we have some pointing down. Honestly, I think that's a pretty good assortment of thrusters. So at this point, what what let, let's think about this. Towards the end of the episode, let's think about this, uh, what we need to do to get this ship flying. The last things that we need to do, we need to get all these thrusters uh, welded out. We need to weld out all this stuff. So pretty much just weld a bunch of stuff. Uh, we definitely need to add a couple more gyroscopes, uh, but that shouldn't be too difficult. What else do we need to do? I think that might be it. We need to grab a bunch of ice, and then we should be able to go off. Like, that should be the last thing that we need to do, right? If you guys can think of anything, post it down in the comments. But for now, I think that's going to be the end of the episode, because there's <laughs> there's not much that we can do for this episode. I think next episode we will um, we'll work a lot more on trying to get this stuff done, get this stuff welded, at least. Oh, we need to add a vent to that as well, just so that we can pressurize this with oxygen. But... Um, but yeah, we can do that next episode. It's not, not too big of a deal. Uh, I think we're honestly about two to three episodes out from being able to fly this thing. In two to three episodes, I think we will take off. That is my estimate, and I hope I'm right, because I think, uh, I definitely think we're getting close. Anyways, if you guys liked that episode, put your comments down below and put your suggestions down there as well. If you liked the video, please make sure to hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe with that cheeky little subscribe button that you see on the left side of your screen with our new little end screen this is all new by the way i just made this a couple days ago uh finally we have a little discord server that you can feel free to join uh, we have lots of fun in there the link to that is down in the description and i'll see you guys in the next space engineers episode
ASMR. <laughs> See ya.